Hey everyone, Garbage here. So if you watch my videos, then I'm going to guess that you agree with me when I say that kernel level anti-cheat in video games is bad and it needs to go. So recently I was watching a video by another YouTuber, Low Level Learning, and in that video he made a very good point that I can't believe I hadn't really thought about before, which is that kernel level anti-cheats that you see in video game have the same sort of security vulnerabilities that something like CrowdStrike does, which also runs on the kernel level. And we all know about CrowdStrike, right? A couple of weeks ago, you know, somebody at CrowdStrike pushed some bad code and it caused 8.5 million computers to blue screen. Now, with CrowdStrike, it was mainly business computers that were affected. CrowdStrike is not really something that a normal personal computer user is going to need. But something like anti-cheat is something that the average person might have on their computer. In fact, if you play a lot of multiplayer video games, then there's a good chance that you have three, four, five, or even six separate anti-cheats on your computer. Now, these days, pretty much every anti-cheat product out there is kernel level to some degree or another. The only ones I'm aware of that are not kernel level are Valve's anti-cheat and whatever Blizzard uses for their anti-cheat. And so really all it would take is for any one of these companies to screw up, push some bad code, and it would cause a second CrowdStrike apocalypse situation just like that. I mean, the likelihood of that happening is pretty low, but it's not zero. And it's really just a matter of time before something like that happens. And when it does, it's gonna be pretty bad because you know your computer, it has your entire life on it basically, right? It's got your passwords, it's got your financial information, maybe like your health information or other uh, very sensitive data. Could you imagine if you were to suddenly lose access to all of that? That would be pretty bad. And in my experience, Valve anti-cheat and Blizzard's anti-cheat is just about as effective as any other anti-cheat at detecting cheaters. That is to say, they are not effective at all. And so really, you're not gaining any significant benefit by going kernel level, but you do gain a massive security vulnerability on your system for no reason at all. And so really, I think that we as a whole just need to do away with kernel level anti-cheat altogether and come up with a better way to deal with cheaters because letting some third party that you don't know or trust inject code into your kernel and give it full permissions over your entire system just isn't it that's just not something that should it should not exist it's just bad <laughs> it's bad and we need to do away with it let me know in the comments if you agree with me or if you disagree. Uh, I cannot guarantee that I will be convinced by your argument, but you know, gotta feed the algorithm, right? So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a nice day.